Yeah, there we go. I got it. Screw you, Cadillac. Happening Z hood. Our brake rotor. There was our brake rotor. Hi, everybody. Good day to you. Welcome back. This is a 2015 Cadillac SRX4. I think it's got the 3.6 liter V6 in this unit. Uh, I wasn't really uh, working on this car earlier. I had Troy on this thing, and uh, it was here because there was an axle seal at the rear differential way, way, way back in that hole. Here, let's get some light in there and see what's going on. Yeah, that's our axle seal on our rear deck. Uh, this is a four-wheel drive vehicle, or all-wheel drive rather. That seal's been leaking. Uh, we did uh, a couple other maintenance items on it. He changed the oil. We did a coolant exchange, and I think a transmission service on it as well. Uh, Troy's out to lunch right now, so I figured I would jump on over since I'm kind of uh, at an impasse between other jobs. I figured I would jump on over, drive that seal in real quick, and, uh, and get this thing kind of buttoned up and out the door. Uh, the reason for the urgency is it's becoming later in the week and I want to get everything cleared out of the shop before the weekend. So we can see here on the ground, the CV axle has already been removed. Uh, we have a bunch of oil and sludge and whatnot kind of building up on that seal that's from the leak, or on the axle that's from the leak. Uh, that's one of the control arms that's going to end up going in like right here in this position. And of course all of our tools and hardware are hanging out. So what I want to do is get in here. We're going to compare the new seal with that old seal just to make sure it's the right one. I did end up ordering a genuine GM components. What do we got here? It's a part number 2284569er9er. Nine -er. Genuine GM. Made in Mako. Now, like I said, I'm going to try to make this just a real quick like video. It's a... Uh, making like hour-long videos all week and I'm kind of tired so I, I don't really have the uh, the moxie to do another hour-long video plus uh, I've got stuff to finish up for the end of the week so what we're gonna do in this video is pop this seal out which is not exactly looking like the easiest possible thing to do we have a uh, it's a metal seal right here so it's gonna drive into that case uh, pretty tightly and then the rubber part is embedded inside of this metal collar around here so first things first, we need to get the old unit out of that differential. Alrighty, so we're looking up at the uh, at this seal from uh, right near the exhaust pipe, it's right here in front of us, and I've got this seal puller right here. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can't get in behind the metal piece on that seal with this puller, and I think we might be able to, and uh, use this thing to pop that seal out of its uh, out of its bore right there. So let me get this set up on my ratchet some. It's got a 3 8 hole for a size for a ratchet or a tool. And then you can use your ratchet as the leverage uh, in order to extract. And once I get it out, well, we, can, uh, we can worry about getting it in. Let's see here. This is kind of hard to get it all set up. It might not even work. There you go. Uh, not feeling that good. It's it's wanting to walk all over the place. Hang on. We rethink and regroup and try a different angle here. It's very tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Okay, so we're gonna pull kind of like this way at sort of an angle. We'll see if we can't pop this unit out. It might come out, it might not. It's not wanting to really budge, I don't think. I'm putting a decent amount of pressure on the unit. Let's try something else. Different spot. Oh, broke something. No turning back now. And what do we got here? Something came out. That's just the plastic. So the metal part is still in. Okay. Uh, I'll give it one more shot, and then if it doesn't uh, didn't come out with uh, one more pull, I have to try something else here. Again, there's not much space to be messing around up here. Got a bite on it. Come on now, come out. Did it move? Okay, so it moved a little bit. It's starting to come free. So I'm getting somewhere. Let's uh, let's reposition 
and I'll try one more pull. Let's go from like this direction over here. Sorry if I keep hitting you guys. I don't mean to make the camera shaky. It's just one of those things. Set that up like right there. Let's try this, Let's try that spot. Think it'll come out? Booyah, got it. Whoa, ah, I got lubricant on my leg. It's always something. Yeah, they got me. Front row, I broke it more than, uh, than what I thought. Look at that. That seal remover put a couple nicks, three of them, put three nicks in the bore on that axle case. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. All right, well, no worries, I can fix that. We're just gonna go through and smooth that back out. That's where the metal part of the seal is gonna ride on that case. And uh, that's why I don't like seal pullers. I thought I had clearance on that and, and I was wrong. I put, a, I put a gouge in that thing. No worries. Oh yeah, side note, the stiff oil really stinks. So the way I'm gonna fix that, I'm gonna go to this little flap wheel sanding thing. And I'm gonna get it right on top of that bore and just kind of clean it out some and get rid of uh, those little nicks right there. I mean, I could probably flatten those out when I hammer the new seal in, but I'd rather not do this the super duper extra hard way. Yeah, I don't want a bunch of metal and whatnot going down in there, so we're gonna shove a towel in the hole real quick. There. Uh, a little more. Okay. So now, come in here, and just polish that little divot right off. Very light pressure. More lumens. There we go. Got it. Okay, let's move it in for our close-up. Uh, much more better. -er. I mean, yeah, you can still see that it's there, but the part is not sticking out anymore, and that's going to allow for uh, a proper seal on the outside diameter of that uh, of the original seal. Okay, let's clean all this, uh, this nasty off of here. Make it nice and shiny like. There we go. Oh, more lubricant. Get that out of there. Very good. Okay, now we can attempt to get that new seal driven into that bore. Leaking, still leaking. It's a self-lubricating bore. There we go. Okie doke, so here's our new seal. It's got the dust boot, a little bit of grease on the inside, focus. Oh, it's broken, ruined. Oh no, that's fine. I can find it because I have underglow lights on the toolboxes, like a boss. So anyway, as I was saying, we've got a little bit of lubricant on the inside diameter bore of that to help the axle slide in. We've got the plastic dust shield device thing they have on here. And of course, yeah, it's metal. There's our rubber. This rubber piece is gonna sit past uh, that section where I have those divots, so it will still seal. Anyway, to assist in the installation, I have a bearing installer. I finally bought one, because my other ones were falling apart and junk. It's an Astro Tool, uh, part number 7824. In case anybody wants one, I will see if, there is a, if these are available on Amazon, and I'll leave a link to these in the video's description down below. I didn't buy these for this video, I bought these for me. But uh, if anybody needs them, but you know what? It's probably not even gonna work with this, because look, I need to drive on the metal part. I can't drive these on the plastic part. Well, well, Shisa. I mean, that's the one too, that's the one that I need, it's perfect. But it's not gonna work on that plastic. Um, so I'm not gonna use this seal driver. I'm still gonna go on the Amazon link below since I said that, and I'm not gonna reshoot this scene, but uh, looks like I'm gonna have to improvise and get this thing on uh, some other way, somehow. Mm, sockets. 
We'll use big sockets. Big sockets are always great for seals. Let's see here. No. Maybe. That one fits. Two and one sixteenth from China. Yeah, that one fits. All I've got to do is press on this metal piece. Yeah, that'll work. We'll try it with this one first and then kind of go from there. What's this, a three quarter inch socket? I'm gonna need an adapter. Yeah, -ha. I know that doesn't make sense right now, but you'll see. Too much fun. Extension, compound extension. Now we've got an extendo seal driver. Okay, let's get this thing installed. We've only got one shot here. If, we, uh, if I break the plastic or we don't get it right, then I have to order another one. And these were special order, not readily available. New old stock. Okay, so there's our, uh... actually, you know what? Rethinking, let me take these extensions off. I think I can get a hammer in right here to start driving on these things. I'm gonna start with a little hammer just to get this thing going. It might finish it off. It might not. I'm just gonna tap it on in there. I like the little hammer because you can get some speed with it. Sometimes bigger hammers are hard to get going. Look at the chrome chipping off this socket. What a piece of crap. Cheapo. It's like not even plated, it's chrome painted. Yeah, look at that, watch. This comes right off. Junk. Anyway, I've got the seal almost on. There's a little bit of a lip over here on the left side, so let's hammer that down. All these expensive tools that I'm over here hammering things in with sockets. It's ridiculous. But it works. I think we're good here. Alrighty, that's one axle seal installed. Let's get out of here real quick. And yeah, we're gonna back this up. I got the axle here, we're gonna take this over, lay it in the parts washer and just uh, clean it off a little bit. That way all that residual grease is gone. If we don't clean it off, somebody else could go back in, take a look at that, and then go, hey, you got an axle seal leak. We don't want that. So a lot of times, if I have to clean something off, you guys are like, hey, why don't you use the parts washer? Where's your solvent tank? Just put it in the tank and, and use the thing. And, and I have one. I have a brand new solvent tank over here. Problem is, it's a piece of junk. And the pump doesn't work. And the pump has never worked. And I had the thing so long that I was not able to return it to the store. Like it sat around for so long before I actually used it, I never knew that it didn't work. So I'm kind of, I'm up a creek unless I want to buy another one. So right now it just kind of sits here as a catch-all. Why does this brake clean not work? Yeah, another! That brake clean was not brake cleaning properly. So we're going to use this one. Let's try this again. Ah, there we go. That's the action we're looking for. High speed. Rotate. There we go. Sweet. Axles clean. Go back to the vehicular module and get this thing installed. I love doing this kind of stuff to Troy. Come by and finish in the hard part of something while he wasn't looking. Anyway, let's, let's maneuver this thing in here. Now, down at the uh, axle side, I'm taking care to not shove that shaft uh, into the seal surface and potentially damage it. And carefully. Carefully, there we go. Stick it on in there. Ram it till it bottoms out. There we go. All right, that shaft is in the hole. 
Okay, so since this is in and the seal's done, I, I did have an opportunity to, to just kind of end the video, but I figure since we're here, I may as well continue to uh, try to put this thing back together. So what I need to do very carefully is get this axle back into the bearing. And we can see this knuckle is just kind of hanging out here floating. It's attached with the parking brake cable and we still have the brake hose cable over there. And it's hanging off of this caliper hanger right here. What we need to do is slit that, uh, that lower ball joint in. See that guy right down there? We need to get this thing slipped in and then uh, we can put the nut on this ball joint and then start to raise this spindle assembly upwards. I think that's the nut. Yeah, that's it. Then we can raise this uh, spindle upwards slightly and start getting the things bolted back together. So bear with me, I didn't take this apart, so I'm trying to uh, figure out how to put it back together. Again, I'm taking great care to not put any excessive strain on, get in there, on this brake hose. I do not want to stretch out our, uh, our brake hose. That would not be okay. It's close too, see that? I've almost got it in. Wiggles. Aha, uh -huh, got it. It's in, kind of. So now I just need to pick it up. Muscle power. Come on, nut, get on there. I've got studs digging into my chest for the wheel lugs. Woo! Okay. I think we're good here. Okay, dogs, let's go on down back to that ball joint with the impact here. Get this bolt tight, nut. Oh, come on now. It's turning the stud in there, see that? Hmm. Alrighty. Okay, I need more muscle power here. I'll pick up on this. I need to put uh, some friction on that ball joint. Come on, you. Oh, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Hey, Troy, come help me out real quick. I need assistance. Assistance. Come over here and grab this knuckle assembly. assembly. Push up on it so we can put some uh, friction on that ball joint. I'll help you. Push up. It's not working. All right, never mind. Let it down. Is it spinning? Yeah, it's spinning. Okay. All right, here, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna slide this pole jack under here, under the rotor, and we're gonna use this pole jack to press up on the spindle slash rotor slash knuckle. That's gonna give upward pressure against the stud in that ball joint. And, uh, and uh, if I can generate enough friction there, I should be able to make it tight. Couldn't do it by hand. Let's try it. Clickage. There we go. Got it. Okay, so our axle's in. Let's get the axle nut on there. Let's see, what do we got down there? 36 mil. I'm assuming that's the axle nut socket. Send it. How we doing in there? Good? Yep. Click. Okay, so we've got this very large bolt assembly here. Looks like this bolt's gonna pass through the knuckle, and then it's gonna pass through this upper control arm, pass through another little tab on the knuckle, and then we can bolt it in. And then on the other side here, that's gonna bolt in over there uh, on the subframe. So, when you get this thing kind of maneuvered into place, and the hard part's gonna be getting this lined up with the holes right there. You can see that this little grommet thing is kind of at an angle. So we need to maneuver this thing into that slot real quick here. Let's see how this is gonna work. 
I think I can force it in. Push. Where are we stuck on? There we go. Oh, heavy. Or, well, it's not really heavy, but I can't get it. I can't get it to go. Well, you're gonna lose. I, I'm going to win because I have things that can be used as hammers. That's not working. Pry bar. Need pry bar. I got one of those too. Let's see. I had a flashlight. That's gone. Come on now, get in there. Oh! Ow. Pinched my finger on that one. So close. There it is. All right, we're closer. All we gotta do is get that uh, bolt lined up in there. Come on now. Oh, get noodle arm. Come on. Get in. There we go. Woo! Got it. Okay, that little bracket part is through. This is gonna go that way and extend into, ow. Or no, 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 this one, this one bolts on, where does that one bolt on? Hang on, I did this wrong. I've done something, I've made an error. Tyson, let me check the other side. Like I said, I didn't take this apart, so I don't know. Where does that little bracket thing go? Not here. Where'd it go? Oh, I see it. I see it. It is on the other side. There it is. That little bracket thing runs from the end and down and over the control arm. So this has to go around over that piece of this control arm. Okay, figured that out. Yeah, once I took a look and realized how short that was, I go, no way that's gonna reach in there. How do we pull that off? So I need to pull this back out some. I've made a critical error. Not really critical, I just gotta do it again because I love my job. I'll do it twice. There, that's where that goes. Shapes and colors. Do it again. Hammer. Got it. Okay, that is through. Let's go ahead and get the nut. Uh, on that bolt that's gonna go over here, back on that side. Let's get that guy started. Got the right one. Hmm. I don't think this is the right one. No, it's not. Okay. So then I need not that one. Those are lug nuts. Not those. It's gotta be it. No way. No, that's not it, that's too small. You know, I'll just come back to that one later. In the meantime, we can just uh, put that one in. That runs straight through. Okay, let's get this other control arm in. Let's take a look right here at this little uh, concave surface on the, uh, on the knuckle. And if we look at this control arm, we've got flat bushing, flat bushing, flat bushing, but we have a concave surface. So that tells us that this mates right here. Shoe. We're gonna get this thing in position. I think that's how she's gonna go. Yep. Let's take our bolt, line that guy up through the knuckle. There we go. Oh no, I've made an error, look. This bolt is supposed to go in from the inside. I've screwed up right from the start. Oh, this is why it's horrible when you put things together behind people. Now I gotta take it back apart and get this bolt in, pointed that way and out. Redo! I love my job. I'll do it twice. 
Yeah, I'm gonna try to do this without taking the axle back out. Come here. Man, I should have stayed home today. Come out. Okay. Here, we'll do the wrench trick. The wrench hammer. What? What is this? Can't hammer out a bolt thing? What's going on here? There. Yep, got to pull the axle out some again. All that work for nothing. Yeah, that thing's pretty seated. Let's tap that out again. You don't hit this with a hammer, it'll put her up the threads. Gotta use a punch. Come on out again to see the axle. Man. Thought I was making fantastic progress too. Tripped at the finish line. I guess it's not all bad. It gave us all extra time to sit here and hang out and listen to me babble on about nonsense and things of that nature. So I guess I guess there's like a a bright side to everything. Even though I'm taking this uh, spindle back off again because I can't get the bolts in with the axle in and I can't get the axle out with the spindle in. So we're doing it all again. Yay! And I'm not thrilled. This is stupid and heavy and it hurts. Now I feel bad for having Troy do this to begin with. Actually, had I not had Troy do this to begin with, I would have known the proper order of operations here and not made this, uh, this error. Get beyond PO'd here. Stop not doing what I want. There. Stupid thing. Axle's too far in. That's what the deal is. There we go. Need to finesse it. Can't force it. You gotta, you gotta finesse. I'm gonna force it with finesse if it doesn't go. Patience is a virtue and I'm not feeling very virtuous all of a sudden. Not while I'm drowning in some sweats and whatnot here. Come on. No, oh, digging into my chest again. Woo, okay. Stupid. All right, got it. It's back together again. Okay, now we can put uh, this little bracket thing back on where I found it. I think it went, it goes here. Where does this go? I don't, I'm kind of out of it now. I don't even remember where those stuff goes. My order of ops are all messed up. Let's get, let's get this big giant ball back in. Put the upper control arm back on and then we'll start over. Okay, now that I'm done doing my job, for a second time, let's get uh, let's get our big bolt back in and push this knuckle back up and realign with this control arm thing. That was not easy, and I'm I'm getting actually physically fatigued over here from this. This is it's a lot of strain, just kind of holding these parts in, and getting it all lined up, and it's metal, so none of it's forgiving. See if I can't just do this without bashing it with a hammer. Oh, get in there. Oh, the struggle is real. Oh no. Oh man, I should have been an astronaut. Seriously. I just don't have the, I don't have all the access needed. I need like an extra arm. 
like a spare arm. Here we go. It's lining up. Okay, that's lined up. Send it home. Bolts in. So we got a bolt and a bracket. And then there's our big nut with the insert that came out. I'll put that back. Must have hammered that out. No worries. It'll go back. It's just like a dowel pin. Yeah, just like that. Goes right back. Okay. So now we need to get this little bracket on the lower. It's gonna be that bolt right there. Put that in. Another flashlight down. The gravity of the flashlight is, is strong with this one. Okay. Now, let's get this last control arm. Where we left off was that little uh, convex slash concave area. So what we need to do, that's not it. Have to maneuver this very carefully. Probably gotta bend things around and struggle some more, I bet. It seems to be the theme on this cataract. Constant struggling. Oh, I get it. You gotta put this on before you put the axle on. That's how it works, because if you don't, then you got this captured bolt business. It's exactly what's happening here. I can't believe I'm, I just said that. Because now I can't get this in. Oh, here. Let's take this uh, upper bolt out again. That's the problem. Yeah, the order operations is critical, and I've made a critical error by denying the order of operations or not knowing what it was. This is why you don't let one person finish another person's job. Here, let's push the axle in. We'll try that. I'll push the axle back in. We're out. Maybe get some clearance again. Dude. I have no idea how to put this back together. I have, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Well, that's apparent, huh? Oh, could have told you that years ago. Told you this guy was a joke. Yeah, there we go. I got it. Screw you, Cadillac. Figured that out. Kinda. Okay, big bolt. Again, attempt number, I don't know, 12. Does it matter? <laughs> I don't even think it matters at this point. I just like taking the car parts off and putting them back on. Very validating. That's our big bolt again. Ma. Okay, we're doing it again. Same thing we just did. You try to take over the world. Try to take over the world. Ha ha ha. One is a genius, the other's insane. Okay. Let's get our big bolt back in. Trying again and again and again until I lose sanity. Or I lose feeling in my arms. Either of those is a very plausible outcome for this situation. Because I'm actually in a stupid nasty situation here. That bolt was sticking out too far. Or sticking in too far. It was going too far. I need to put it, I had to put it back. Line you back up again. It's getting old. 
There. Ha. Ah. Now where we started 20 minutes ago, we put the big nut back on. Yay. Okay, so getting back on schedule here. We've got this bottom bolt for the bottom bracket. Put that through, put the nut on. There. That nut goes right there. That's for the control arm. And then I've got the bolt on that control arm already in. I needed to put that thing on to hold on to the arm. So now I'm just trying to get in there to get the nut on there. Cool. So let's see, we've got a dangling wheel speed sensor wire. Let's get that back into its little bracket. Snap that guy in and we'll pull it through. And I think it's gonna come right through here and then it plugs. Oh, look at that, look at that. Look, 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 look. Unbelievable, I can't get the wheel speed sensor on because this bracket's here. Man, hey, this is some bull. When I get clever designs and whatnot, this is this is just some some other level. I don't, I don't even understand why. Why would you think that that was a good idea? Let's take it apart again. Man, I'm getting good at this. Big bolt coming out again. There's our bracket again. Wheel speed sensor coming through again. Let's take out that 10 mil that's in there. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Here. Now you can see. Let's take this 10 milli out. Take our wire. This is not going the way I would have hoped at all. Again, this is, this is why it's not a good idea to pick up after someone else, because you never know like what their habits are. Where do they set down their nuts? What order do they like to take? So you come in blind and end up doing the job three times over. Okay, let's make this tight. Clicks. Yay! Okay, now let's get the big bolt in again. Last time, right? Is this the last time? I think it's gonna be the last time. I hope it is, because I'm getting really tired of this. Like I've sweat a lot just trying to get this together here. I still can't figure it out. Brackets quite cumbersome and rather annoying. It's like all these parts have to go together at the same time or they won't fit. That's, that's kind of how this is. It's like a squared catch 22. There's no escaping the purgatory. Nata. Come on. Okay, big bolt coming through again. Let's line it up with the upper control arm again. There. This is painful to watch. I had to click away. Scott doesn't know what he's doing. Hey, anybody, you feel free to come over here and do this. I got no problem stepping back and letting one of those, those experts out there put this business back together. I don't want to do it. I'll go sit in the office. I'll even pay you, how about that? There you go. There's your armchair comments for you all day. <laughs> That's tight. Axle nut again. Woo! Run out of patience, so. So yeah. Put that on there. Good. All right, we are uh, approaching the last last time I'm putting these stupid things in. Oh, hang on. There's a there's a clip back there for that wire. I don't want to leave that out. 
That would be annoying. Let me just get that guy clipped on. It's in. I heard it click. Okay, that's in. So the wheel speed sensor wire is now connected to this bracket uh, on the inside there. Good. All right, couple 21s for the kill. Probably get a new battery. Maybe later. And then we got the ones way back in the back on uh, on that upper other upper control arm. The front upper is you know we need to have a bunch of those for some reason. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! I got it. Yeah, screw you, Cadillac. And uh, there's the big one up at the top too. We can't forget that big one. There, let's just back on up. Go in there with our impact and I can't. Nope, can't do that either. This is a whole bunch of I can't. What can I do? In there. We can get a bigger wrench. Say. Put that on right there. And then send it. Kinda. Yeah. yeah, buddy. Clickage. All right, guys. Here's the deal. I'm gonna wash this off. Bolts are tight. That's tight. I gotta put some torque on that with a torque wrench. Everybody's good there. Connectors are connected. No damage to the cable for the parking brake. Another. I need to get uh, I need to get Troy to put a little bit of fluid in this uh, differential because we drained it earlier. So we gotta fill that thing back up, get the tire on it. This thing's good to go. So thank you guys for uh, watching this half video. I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. I'm tired. I'm taking lunch. I need to go cool off. I just sweat out a bunch of sweat and yeah, I'm tired. I'm just I'm just tired. I don't wanna do this anymore. So uh, thank you guys for watching this short half video again. Uh, let me know what you think about this uh, particular operation of engineering in the comment section down below. Uh, don't forget that like button wire down there. And most importantly, have yourselves a fantastic day. See you guys later. Into Cadillac, into video, into frustrating suspension components, into transmission. No, oh, you're cute. You're, so cute. you're cute. I'm not cute. Look at me. So this is not cute. This is not cute. You're. I, I think you're. Cute. You're doing something wrong with you, one.